night watch with them back cows. We the night watch with them back cows. If there's any trouble, we'll back down. We the night watch with them back cows. Yo, what's going on, my heroes, my villains, my fellow cow collectors, and everybody else on YouTube? It's your bromie, the gal. Back at it again with another bad cow update video. Ooh, welcome back, heroes. So, unless you've been hiding under a rock for the past month or so, you probably heard about the bad cows. Whether it be on Twitter, YouTube, or somewhere else, um, the bad cow team recently had an AMA and I heard some interesting things there. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys why you probably don't want to buy a bad cow. Why you might not want to buy a bad cow. So without any ado, let's breeze into it. Images. So there were definitely 10 event moments um, that are gonna be coming up as part of some future games, experiences, and opportunities exclusive for bad cow holders. Um, so I hope you all have been keeping an eye out. And I'm really excited to kick more of that off with you uh, in the next few weeks. So reason number one why you might not want to buy a bad cow is if you don't want your NFT to provide you experiences, games, or opportunities. I know a lot of NFT projects out there, you buy your NFT and you just sit and look at it. Maybe you, um, maybe you, I don't know what else you can do with it. You sit and look at it. And if you like that, then the bad cows might not be for you. So, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're not looking to have fun, if you're not looking to, you know, try out different games and stuff like that, then you probably don't want to buy a bad cow. Absolutely. I, I think all of you holders are going to be delighted. You know, one of the, the biggest things that we're working on is we're building out this storyline together. So uh, we'll be seeing uh, results of some of the comic book votes. We'll be seeing exclusive updates. You'll get information about some of the, the exclusive content that, that's coming up as well. And one of the things I'm most excited to kick off is we're going to have ex exclusive experiences and storylines that are going out in those channels with you too. Um, so more on that as uh, things develop, but um, it's worth going into the Discord, making sure that you're uh, going into your account settings, making sure that your Discord is there and getting into that holder only channel um, as soon as you can. Uh, we want to make sure all of you have access to uh, the really fun content, fun and games that we have in store. Yeah, and I'll, ju I'll just comment from the um, WB side a little bit. I think, you know, we've you've probably heard me talk before, you know, we're, we're really excited about using or leveraging NFTs in Web3 to give things to fans that we weren't able to do in Web2. And I think this is a good example of it is that, you know, we'll have a place just just to talk to you guys. And, and I think um, as content comes in, we'll be able to, to show you some sneak peeks and things like that. But I want to make sure that you know it's it's an exclusive um uh experience reason two why you might not want to buy a bad cow is if you don't like the feeling of exclusivity if you don't like feeling like you belong to something special if you don't want private updates and special information and exclusive sneak peek content then you probably don't want to buy a bad cow and there's nothing wrong with that so let's move on to reason three why you probably don't want to buy a bad cow <laughs> yeah, no, we're super excited about the comic voting. It's um, uh, we've never really done this <laughs> before to this level. We've of course had votes um, on Twitter and things like that. Um, uh, we've tried that over the last couple of years, and we're we're going to continue doing things like that. Um, th this this is uh, it's such an interesting process in that we're we're really bringing every, everyone into not just one or two decisions, but you know many 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 decisions <laughs> into the shaping of this comic book. Um, uh, I'm very excited to announce that we have our creative team that's been um, attached to to bringing this to life. So we're going to be working with um, Dan Abnett, um, writer. Uh, he's going to be writing it. Um, we have Pablo Collar, who's going to be doing the, the interiors, and then uh, and then Mikel Hanin, who's going to be doing the the cover. Um, uh, so we're super excited to bring that to life. Um, the the voting's actually going live, uh, I believe, today. Um, and the, the, the first vote we're going out with is essentially the log line, um, basically a one liner about the overall story. And, um, you know, they might seem not so different from each other, but I assure you, like, as a comic comes to life, minor, uh, minor, um, decisions like this, that, that we're going to be asking all of you to participate in, um, do really change the direction of the story. Um, and, uh, and 
uh, and and we'll be writing it based on um, uh, based on those those votes. Um, so the the actual process is you'll uh, the call holders are going to get an email, I, I believe later today, um, and then you'll you'll get instructions in that email to access our our voting interface. Um, well, you log in, and then um, and then you'll have 24 hours uh, from the time you receive your email to make their selection. And the reason that's so fast is because we have a lot of work to do on this comic. Um, there's a lot of decisions to be made, um, and so we have to make a lot of quick decisions along the way, um, uh, and many many decisions. So this isn't like once and you'll hear from us again in a in a month. It's going to be pretty frequent um, from here on out. Uh, so really excited to bring this to life. It's never been done. Uh, to this scale before. Um, um, this is not a, a story that's already been written that we're just kind of bringing you along for the ride. This is literally being developed in real time. Um, and, and I, I want to call that out just, just because there's the, you know, the, the, everybody's under a lot of pressure to deliver and, and, uh, I want to give them the credit where, where it's due. This is completely flipping uh, upside down what we, how we would normally go. The comic is going to be published this fall. We don't have a hard and fast date yet, but fall is the time frame um and yeah really excited to see how that voting goes and, and how the story twists and turns as a result reason three why you probably don't want to buy a bad cow is if you don't want to have a hand in dc's first ever nft comic we're voting from things like the title the storyline the characters the villains and we don't even know what else they're going to be allowing us to um, have a hand in. But if you don't want to be part of the first DC NFT comic coming out this fall, then yeah, the bad cow, you probably shouldn't buy. It wouldn't make sense. So with that, let's move on to the next. But, but what I do want to assure everyone is we have a small army working on this program. Um, and it's, you know, the, the features that we're throwing around are, 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 really industry changing and i think um i think everybody's gonna be happy that said we we you know we have a lot of stuff that we're going to be delivering even over the next uh probably before the next 52 day, day drop i had mentioned this in the past but you know we are um getting that virtual archives tour set up um just waiting for a few more of the actual archives to be in one place uh which is why there's been a little bit of a delay on that um uh, as you can imagine our 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 um our Batman uh, uh, materials are kind of uh, shared all over the world, and so we want to make sure we're giving you know the best access to our fans. Um, so that's one of the things that that will be coming in this this latest drop. And then, um, yeah, I mean, get excited! There's going to be a lot of good stuff coming for the rest of the year. And I don't know if Matt, you want to jump on that as well. Yeah, um, yeah. There's some some things we're working on now that. Um... Yeah, again, I'm, I'm going to be tap dancing. Um, we're like Fred and Ginger out here, but um, we are working on something this year, which is absolutely the biggest thing that we are doing. Um, and nobody knows anything about it yet. And I'm going to leave it at that. But it's coming. Reason four why you definitely don't want to buy a bad cow is if you don't like airdrops. If you don't like getting more than what you paid for, then the bat cows is definitely not for you. If you don't like unprecedented things, if you don't like being the first, you know, if you don't like being a part of history, the bat cows you need to stay away from. And that's 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 just my friendly advice, you know. Um, we have no idea what's coming. If you don't like surprises, ooh, you might want to stay away. But with that, let's go on to reason number five why you don't probably want to buy a bat cow. Yes, July 7th, you'll be able to cash out your fiat to your bank account. Um, uh, anyone from um, any currency essentially can be cashed out. And um, feature will be available in all the same countries that were allowed to purchase NFTs. So yeah, excited about that. Uh, we'll send out an email with instructions um, next Thursday. Um, and yeah. Reason five why you probably don't want to buy a bad cow is if you don't want a top tier investment in which you can cash out, trade, buy, or sell. If you don't want to diversify, if you don't want an extra option to move your funds around and possibly increase your, you know, your, you know, whatever your bankroll, then the bad cows might not be for you. Who likes cash out anyway? So uh, with that, let's go on to a reason where if you happen to buy it, if you, if you bought a bad cow during the mint, why you might want to hold your bad cow. 
Does owning the original Bacal bought on the original drop date hold any special significance over a Bacal purchased on the secondary market? So, you know, we, we know that we had um, those, those special uh, rewards for our primary purchasers um, with the, the Gotham City District Nightwatch sigils. Um, those are really keys that'll help that'll add additional experience points in the future. Um, I don't know if anyone else wants to add, but um, know that for those of you who did get those sigils, there's more coming. Um, we're excited to be able to to play with you in some future experiences and really um, celebrate you being our day ones with us. Yeah, that's. I, I think the great thing about NFTs is there's we can decide that at any point in time. Like, all right, let's take a snapshot of people who bought on primary mint and still hold their cows. Um, that's definitely a, you know, that community of day ones is going to be a super important community for us going forward. So, yeah, look, it's possible, but I don't want to say any more than that at present. For interoperability, uh, uh, we will be planning that out for um, the end of the year. Um, so being able to uh, take those NFTs out and uh, go to third-party wallets. Um, that's what we're working on for um, our wallet support. And that's the video, my friends. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. If you learned something or enjoyed the content, feel free to drop a like on the video and consider subscribing for more back cow content like this, this, this. So yeah, hopefully I gave you guys enough reasons why you shouldn't buy a back cow. Uh, if you already have one, then, you know, good job. And kudos to you because you did your due diligence and you know what's up. So with that being said, I am not a financial advisor. Nothing I say ever is financial advice because I am learning just like you guys. I am just your friendly neighborhood genius. <laughs> Sharing his thoughts and opinions on this most excellent project known as the Bat Cows. So take everything that you hear from me with a grain of salt because things could change, change, change. And with that, thank you again for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video. Until then, peace out and huddle strong. And remember that not all heroes wear capes. Later.